This existing system failed because the leather facings were oversized and were binding on the pallet guides. The leather facing came free of the pallets. I wish I could find more information regarding this arrangement. I don't know if this was the original setup or if there was a different hinge system used when originally built. One of the pipe holes is clogged with wax or glue. This is the configuration of the pallets and leather facings as I found after opening the pallet chest. I'm cleaning up the pallet springs. I scraped off the old wax and corrosion. Nine of the fourteen springs are still in decent shape. These five have issues with their coils. This is the key frame. These screw eyes are for adjustment. This front view of the keyframe shows the setup of the keys. This rear view shows how each key is attached to the sticker rod by a leather hinge. The metal wire end is what activates the pallet inside the pallet chest. The white leather hinge seems to be original. The red and brown strips are affixed by the previous repairer. This shows how the screw eye adjustment uses leather tab to rest against each key. These two keys operate the triangle. I plan to replace the old leather hinges.
Each screw eye adjustment has a letter. The letters may correspond with the notes. These screws adjust the height of the keyframe. This rod runs the length of the keyframe underside and creates the key pivot. Removing the rod released all the keys and sticker rods. I numbered all the pieces to keep the original order placement for the reassembly process. A small wooden block was added to the underside of the keyframe. This looks to be a later add-on.